we got a lot of requests to do videos on armor slayers technique breakdowns so uh, we're gonna do one uh, before we get started you guys don't like the videos please like the videos we know you watch them but we see a lot of views we don't see enough likes so like the video today we're gonna talk about one of the greatest hook armistars ever am I right to say it? who is he his name is Rustam Babayev Rustam Babayev so he's uh, if you're not familiar with him uh, Ukrainian uh, pretty much have dominated the lightweight middleweight for I don't know over 15 maybe plus years even more it's, maybe it's even already more. 20 years uh, yeah I remember Rustam I saw first time him in 99 yeah uh, in, in, in 2000 we were in in the same class in one competition so in 2001 years ago yeah so we, we, pu we pulled in the same class uh, more than 20 years ago yeah. he has established himself as like one of the best if he's in your class you know there's going to be a problem with him mm -hmm. it's a uh, no no one is safe he's his hook is legendary his uh, style and he's he's one of the shorter guys mm -hmm. he's one of the lighter guys and he still can put up a fight with bigger ones last season he was in top eight uh, big division this year we don't know what's going to happen next but uh, he's in 95 kilo class and uh, in in o o overall weight class uh, it's very hard to beat someone who's two meters tall or, or he, just he was pulling yeah, in this unlimited class and but he he's, never weighed he's more built as a lightweight yeah. basically and he moved up just to middleweight only because yeah. uh, it was not too much challenge for for him maybe in lightweights maybe even 70 75 and then slow slowly he get bigger 70 75 uh, lately 78 was in his lot of tours and 86 and he wanted to get bigger to fight with uh, uh, heavy weights to fight in the uh, overall classes so so to, to have a challenge for him as well yeah, because he dominated 95 for in years. in uh, in, uh, in his weight class there was just a few armorslers who were able to give him serious fight or uh, win against him yeah. in in uh, 2003 I remember in European Championship Tsahilo uh, they had war with Tsahilo they they both went inside and it was it was a war uh, Hadzi Murad Zaluya, many times, many met, times, many, and also before lost, when, they, lost, when they both yeah. were in a lightweight class. Uh, 2006 in Europeans, he lost against uh, Shakmanov, I think, was a uh, arm wrestler from uh, from Ossetia, from uh, Russia. He died tragically in, in a car accident lately. Later, later, and and. Theoretically, Babayo lost, but after that, uh, the Russian arm wrestler who won get suspended, suspended for, for uh, doping use. So it was European Championship 2006, and then probably till 2000. 12 2013, he was super dominant in in, in European involves. He won maybe eight, maybe. Yeah. 10 in a yeah. row and then Prudnik Prudnik, Prudnik stopped him yeah Prudnik stopped him in a in a legendary match 2012 I think it was a war and 2013 uh, and uh, and uh, oh, Babayo yeah, yeah. still won yeah. and then 2013 yeah. Uh, Pr yeah. Prudnik won that fight yeah. Prudnik was after him they have met many times and they met last year mm -hmm. uh, it's he had uh, he is so strong we just uh, prepare for to doing this video we watched the videos and it just uh, 2012 uh, Russian Open A1 he just uh, destroyed so many guys there and there was like his class bigger open yeah he, class. He, he, he was in, in his weight class and also overall class he uh, I remember some of those matches yeah uh, he won against Motoshenko yeah. against uh, Semerenko Alexei against uh, Khajim Razuluyev yeah. uh, Tsirkanov were, yeah, was, yeah crazy so his style and uh, from watching the, those videos it hasn't changed a lot like he's been very consistent with his style yeah it's it's uh, from a lot of armistice you see like two things will happen either something doesn't work or they get injured and they change something up so if you get injured you cannot work where you used to work so you change something up 
For him, it's been very consistent. He has been very successful from uh, from very beginning, and uh, yeah. if something works for you, good. Why yeah. to change it? Yeah. It 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 works for him, and and uh, there are there are like not many has find a way to to do something against it. So. Uh, no, no. His if it's not broken, don't fix it. And, <laughs> and with his and with his uh, biomechanics, with his uh, si size of size of hand, size of uh, forearm, it's incredible. That's that's does. that's yeah. uh, probably his style is uh, best he can do for this. Yeah. So l let's talk what he what he does in a normal matchup. In a, in a just uh, he's he's very he's very upright. He's again. He's about my height, something like that. Uh, maybe even shorter. Yeah. Why, why, why he is so uh, vertical or upright? Uh, one thing is usually it's a big, uh, because he's a smaller Small man. Way. And if you, if you fight against someone who is uh, have longer forearm, yeah. you, usually usually I will I will stand. So it's a chance for him to stand very vertical as well yeah. because ref referees want to have a center here, yeah. and that's also one, one thing that he just uh, pushed to stand very vertical yeah. because if he stand. Here, Here he will be super low. Super low, where someone who has higher. Yeah. Hand. So he's he's very much here, and that allows him to do this. And he's uh, a lot of armisters will use. Some will use the arm to get in the hook. Some will use the hand. He uses, I think, both. Uh, his hand is super good. The mm -hmm. flexion, supination. And together with shoulder rotation, he gets in his position. And this was basically his hook. Rustam's Bubayo main attack angle is always uh, focused on opponent's uh, elbows flexor. Yeah. Uh, generally, he attacks opponent's uh, bicep with with very solid hand and wrist movement, with good back and super strong side movement. He tries to get on opponent's bicep and separate yeah. his arm or, or opponent's arm away from body yeah. and if, if you will watch his fights almost always uh, he gets he's he's very good at holding himself but mostly what he do he try to get on opponent's bicep yeah. if if we if we watch uh, his his style when rustam is not confident about getting inside usually he will go for slip for a slip and okay. go for strap. Yeah. He's not known for uh, strongest uh, fingers. Yeah. He, he have good strong fingers, but there was a video when he where he was doing uh, with Mazarenko eccentric uh, handle yeah. finger. Those numbers were good, but not maybe uh, something super impressive for uh, middleweight or heavyweight. Yeah. But he Most, uses strap very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe a big, big part of all top armistler like heavyweights will do more with uh, fring fingers and if have you, better fingers. Yeah, if you have uh, longer fingers, it's easier. What's, what's Rustam's strength is not his finger. He's very good with wrist flexion and, and stability and control in wrist. Yeah. Not so much, not so much uh, in, in the fingers. So if if he feels uh, confident, he will go directly for for for, for inside or yeah. uh, usually goes inside. He's smart arm wrestler. He changed. If if no, you very very often yeah. he will slip, slip in in, in a a straps. Strap, he's much closer and he's more efficient. He just he, yeah he doesn't have to hold you here, so he will just do in a straps. Fingers are not so important anymore, but uh, wrist flexion is yeah. still same important or even more important. And in a strap, he can much more effective get inside. Usually, with with uh, getting inside, you you will not see that he is uh, no. jumping forward. He is doing it with good wrist wrist flexion yeah. and even not so much supination he do supination only when he feels it's necessary or opponent put him in a supinate position yeah. usually he will go directly with side yeah. take away the pronator take away the at biceps. At attacking opponent's pronator yeah. and Separating. when he has a uh, open uh, gets on opponent's uh, pronator arm already already here so palm is facing and then he can attack and open up and of course uh, uh, if opponent has super strong defensive bicep he is able to hold but usually your uh, dragging movement your pressing movement will be stronger than just uh, elbow elbow flexor 
Uh, one, more, one more thing in, in, with Rustam Babayev. Uh, even if he goes inside, he, he tries to get on opponent's bicep, very often you will see that he is controlling his rotator. So we can show from other side that when he gets inside, he is able to control his rotator. And uh, so that, that's, that's for uh, hook or inside arm wrestlers are very important. So he's, when he gets inside, he's not losing yeah. his pronation, rotation, yeah. pronation he, he wins here. that fight there. And, and also one, one more thing, uh, with Rustam, no, he, when he's heavier, sometimes not so effective, but he's always very compact yeah, with the angles. Very close. Close, yeah. good yeah. angles, good, good mechanic. Yeah. Because uh, closer you are, more compact you are. Yeah. More force I have to do. You can generate much more side pressure. Yeah. And every, every centimeter you lose here, you lose here, yeah. you can generate here much less uh, power, and, power, yeah. power and strength. Yeah. So, uh, like, the thing that we noticed watching, uh, it was very good to see in uh, match versus Krasimir. Mm -hmm. When uh, th they both went inside, so they both went inside, and he know that basically he understood that Krasimir can match him right here. So he was more fighting for to his top roll, and, mm -hmm. and and he used it plenty of times, especially with good good hook armistice. When he they get him inside, he tests if he can do it, and then he tries to do it. And like you said, this is what very, some, everyone very, should be doing. Very often, uh, or, or, or in some, in, in some uh, even fights, we, we have, have seen uh, Rustam, especially without strap, uh, is not going directly for a pad, for a pin, but uh, he's or going for slip, or even more as a top roller or posting, and he has, uh, took wrist for, for yeah. against Krasimir, yeah. against Dmitry Trubin, against some other very big names. So with even this short arm, yeah. he can still generate some very solid uh, top roll as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing when you, when you feel that uh, you will not get inside, sometimes uh, it's easier, easier with your angle, with your back pressure, attack opponent's hands and try to hold on, on your finger. And same with Krasimir, same with, uh, with uh, Mitty Trubin, without straps. He was controlling their hands and getting here. Yeah. When strap was applied, he was again still holding his uh, but, but angle. But much more inside, yeah. Took a deeper finger. Deep, and no, he was attacking again an opponent's rotator and side and not going for clear top roll. But, yeah. uh, but here this contact is much, you are much more closer and no, you can attack again on opponent's rotator and hand. In, in a, Rustam is not known as a best uh, endurance athlete. But he has had some big wars. Yeah, yeah. but with, uh, yeah. Krasimir, with uh, Krasimir, with uh, Prudnik, with, Prudnik, with, uh, with uh, Hajimrat Zeluyo, but mostly in, he, in those long fights, he loses. He loses. Yeah. But that's, that's just normal. It's almost impossible to be yeah. very explosive, yeah. strong, very explosive. and super endurance. Yeah. And Rustam is one of most explosive. Maybe, okay, he's 30. Eight, I think right now he's yeah. born 1982 and uh, <laughs> nature is nature when you get older you don't not getting uh, more explosive more and faster yeah. you just like, get less that's uh, <laughs> yeah it's, it, it is how it is yeah. but still he's uh, quite fast of, yeah. of, of starting explosive and I think even, even lately he has become more endurance yeah because because he's preparing more, more for super for those than, super matches yeah, and uh, for, uh, for 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 six round out. format and he knows yeah. that he will have to uh, wait for long. Yeah. His uh, best wins or or some biggest wins. Uh, there are so many many we can we can talk about, but uh, just a few fights. Uh, he and John Brzezink. John Brzezink 2009, John Brzezink 2010. Yeah. Uh, 2009, he was in final in the Zloty Tour in open class, I think, or semi final uh, with John Brzezink. That was a good match. Uh, they both get inside. John was controlling this time 
uh, more, uh, if, if we're talking uh, uh, that Rustam usually have this control, then with John, yeah, John, has John has that control, and that's a difference. So you can see it's like, uh, are you here and you're holding more? Yeah. Or are you here and open end is holding and you and you are basically you can you can from this position you can press you can pull you can go side you can rotate drag from this usually you can just hold yeah. and try to maybe rise up or yeah. or if you have some tre tremendous i don't know steel steel joint and, and tendon you can ah, press <laughs> press yeah. through but uh, not many are able to do this yeah. and uh, with with john 2000 Ten. Nine oh. slotty tour. John John was able to control this, and John was better that time. And but still, Rustam gave very good match against John. Yeah. 2010, John was out of shape. He was uh, still competing in slotty, but didn't do too mm -hmm. good. They get a strap, I guess. I uh, without, without strap uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Without, stra uh, without strap, actually, Rustam was going, uh, going for strap. Yeah, he yeah. was not trying too much to hold, or he was going for strap. Yeah. And in strap, Rustam did what he do good. Yeah, he did this, and John was just under, and was under. That's second. it. Yeah. He he moved. Uh, he and Krasimir Kostadino, uh, many great fights. Yeah. Many yeah. great fights yeah. uh, with Krasimir. Uh, in, in some fights, Rustam has been able to even control Krasimir's yeah. wrist. Yeah. Almost in every of those fights, Rustam has been able to control Krasimir's rotator. Yeah. Even if Krasimir holds in on his uh, yeah. bicep, on his angle, on his side, where he's yeah. super good yeah. in this defensive yeah. position, yeah. where he can hold and, uh, and, and, and work. But uh, Rustam usually gets on his rotator on his hands. And when he won in, in some slower match, he was on his rotator, he was controlling and just pressed through. And in the slotted two, 2017, Krasimir won in, in that fight. Yeah. It, they both were, they yeah. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a long fight. Uh, and, and then actually Rustam lost, not because he was weaker, but again, the endurance was a factor. Yeah. So there are just a few fights you will find where you see that uh, Rustam is a weakest arm wrestler. If he lost, he losing or in, 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 a, in a match. In, yeah, yeah. It's a, a, yeah. either long match or yeah. Before that, uh, I remember 2006 was one fight when uh, Rustam lost a wrist. Lately, we have seen it yeah. happening much more he gets against pinned in positions. Yeah. Against uh, uh, Kurdecha, against uh, Tim Bresnan, and Tim Bresnan, even against Prudnik. Yeah. But what's what's uh, one more factor we have to remember? Uh, Rustam is going to fight with uh, going 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 in a unlimited weight class. He's fighting with and uh, he's under 100 kilos. And uh, okay, Prudnik was maybe 110, but uh, Bresnan, uh, Kurdecha, they yeah, both they are 150, 100. Yeah. Super heavy, I don't know, Bresnan maybe not so heavy, 140 something. Kurdecha is 155. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, even with those shorter hands, he can give good matches to everyone. And not uh, gonna give uh, against uh, against Tim Bresnan for first uh, super match or arm fight was 3 3. And uh, Rustam was four two. or 4-2 four four or Rustam even won 4-2 yeah, yeah. yeah but it was no okay, pins no, <laughs> no pins, pins but, but no Rustam was, wasn't weaker arm wrestlers there they were both yeah. quite even yeah. second time team team did with what he had to do he was not going for pin he was working 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 on on uh, Rustam's hand and fingers and 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 it just get tired uh, and yeah. faster than team's uh, team's angle and back pressure yeah. so team did his uh, tom home task and that's that's basically the way how to fight against rustam babayo you have to be super strong but uh, i haven't seen much arm wrestlers who can go just uh, yeah. and, and 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 get get through that uh, th there have been few yeah there have been few but uh, it's you not have to work you have to work with you, him. Usually, usually you have to find his uh, weakest links. And theoretically, that's a hand and fingers. Right. That's what did uh, Kurdecha. That's what did Tim Bresnan. 
They both are very good with uh, back pressure and rotation. How was how was uh, Babayev and uh, Sasha Babayev and uh, Todd Hutchings in uh, Moldova? You were there. I forgot. Ah. I don't remember everything like Janus remembers. <laughs> Janus remembers every, every, everyone, everyone, so everywhere, every those, time. Those are armor slayers who are able to go that's, that's directly right, ag yeah. against against him, uh, like arm against arm, not focusing too but much. But he won them. He won, but uh, there, there was a uh, many many wars and many great armor slayers in that class, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. That that uh, uh, Hutchings won against uh, Sasho. Sasho. And uh, there was a Prudnik as well. Yeah. And uh, Babaya won against Prudnik. So it was yeah crazy. That's that's the thing. Great match, Babaya and uh, Prudnik. Last super match last season, uh, top eight. Same story, similarly like uh, uh, Babaya and Jombrezenk. Prudnik Prudnik was not able to go just uh, through uh, Babayo's arm. On first two, three rounds. Yeah. That's uh, endurance again, late, late, later yeah. rounds. Yeah. What, he, what he was doing, when they both get, get inside here, he was, he was again working with his uh, back pressure. He was working here with his uh, rotator, rising up here on small fingers. He was curling deeper his wrist, so turning around Rustam's. Yeah. And, and at the end, Rustam was holding almost here with uh, yes. already straight arm. Not, not that his uh, arm was weaker, his hand and wrist was weaker. Yeah. And that's a, that's a problem. And, and Yevgeny also, of course, are uh, super technical, smart and uh, armistler. good overall. Yeah. Arm, armistler with, uh, with many like, variable styles and uh, endurance is great and, and he can work. So uh, one more time. For for me, uh, what Rustam is uh, best, he's he's great about getting inside, yeah. and he's doing it with uh, with super strong side and super strong wrist flexion yeah. and explosiveness. And when he is already g here in this position, mm, yeah, not, I can not, name not just few armorsmiths who are able to do get some, out from that. Yeah. yeah. So what can we learn from from this from uh, Rustam? If you're shorter guy your favorite more in a hook uh, like he's a great blueprint to do you just need to understand how you get in everyone gets into the hook differently mm -hmm. uh, if, if you are gifted with strong hand strong wrist then that is maybe the best way for you he's gifted there not mm -hmm. many people are so mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but uh, I have seen uh, Rustam doing uh, wrist curls uh, with dumbbells. Uh, 80, 90, maybe. 80, more. 90, 90 kilos. Uh, and uh, same I have seen Rustam, it was already many years ago, uh, doing small bicep curls with uh, close to 100 kilos. So. Yeah, single arm. Yeah, yeah single arm. Yeah. Single arm. Yeah. And, and he's, he's very close. His technique hasn't changed in, in years, mm -hmm. in uh, two decades over that. And that, that's, that's a great way to look at a fighter, uh, armor who's, uh, who can serve you as a model. You, if you look at, I remember when I was looking into Hook, you, you think about Zaluyev, you think about Babayev and John Brzenk, in my opinion. You look at those guys as in a, like how to get in Hook. Now we have more guys that are super great mm -hmm. at Hook and, and you can, uh, depending on your body type, depending on your strong weak points you can learn from them and apply some of their methods teachings and uh, styles on table mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's it for the breakdown uh, leave a comment who would you want us to do next one on and uh, we will do it yeah stay strong i love arm wrestling <laughs>